Hi, I am uh, Sundar Ratnarajan. I am uh, in uh, Poland for last 18 months uh, in uh, West Pomeranian University of Technology as a postdoctoral fellow uh, through Polonis BAS program uh, in Faculty of Civil and Environmental Engineering. I come from southern part of India, uh, near the major city called Madurai. Uh, and I studied from uh, IIT Madras, uh, which is located in Chennai, uh, again a coastal city uh, close to the Bay of Bengal in uh, southern part of India. I got interested to apply for Polonis BAS program, which is a Mary Curie co-fund program, which is prestigious uh, of its kind. And uh, I, I expressed my interest to uh, work through as a Polonis fellow, and uh, my expression of interest was identified by P Professor Pawel Sikora from West Pomeranian University of Technology. And uh, we talked together, and then uh, we formulated a topic which is more suitable for uh, contributing to the sustainability of concrete production and uh, alternate materials for concrete. My project is about uh, using uh, alternative waters for uh, concrete production and uh, my research is focusing on seawater mixed concretes. So we are going to use seawater mixed concretes uh, as an alternative for uh, fresh water, uh, which can be in shortage. Like uh, there are uh, regions in the earth where we could face a severe shortages of uh, fresh water uh, in certain parts of the year. We want to replace the usage of fresh water with alternate sources of water like seawater and produce concretes in such areas. Recently also, if we see uh, in Spain, there is a protest for even tourists to come to the uh, city for the freshwater, uh, because of the freshwater crisis. Uh, similarly, the people can rise up against use of industrial water also, industrial water consumption. So to avoid uh, the industrial water consumption uh, being a major problem in the future, we want to use different uh, type of water for concrete production. And among that, seawater looks like a more feasible alternative without much processing. So that is the area that I am working on. The major obstacle in using seawater in concrete is like uh, seawater consists of a lot of uh, salts. So salt in sense uh, we have uh, salts which are made up of sodium chloride and sodium sulphate uh, or magnesium chloride and magnesium sulphate. So these salts can have a different kind of interactions uh, to the cement materials that can affect the properties of the concrete. So uh, typically the uh, international standards restrict the amount of total salts in the uh, water. So because of that, we are not able to use seawater uh, in the concrete. So that is the major obstacle. One more thing is the usage of seawater can create corrosion of steel in concrete. So corrosion of steel in concrete, uh, in reinforced concrete is a major problem. If you see the buildings uh, uh, which are located near coast are more prone to corrosion, but now uh, we are having alternative materials other than the uh, typical ordinary Portland cement. So this gave us an opportunity to explore on this topic further. In NanoSecon, we are using alternative cementitious materials as well as seawater uh, as an alternative source of uh, water for mixing uh, for concrete production. Uh, if you look at the possibility of uh, using alternative materials like uh, fly ash, slag and metacalin in concrete that can help us to reduce the contribution of uh, CO2 emission from the cement industries. Also the usage of alternative waters like seawater in the concrete can be a uh, viable uh, option to fight against the freshwater crisis which is affecting the certain parts of the world in current period also and also possibly in the future. So uh, because of this usage of alternative materials like fly ash, slag and uh, metacrylin, we can produce concrete which can be more durable against the ingress of uh, ions and salts which can cause uh, repair to the system. The seawater mixed concretes are uh, more useful in uh, places which are having the freshwater crisis uh, and also uh, currently we have uh, the alternative reinforcements like uh, uh, fiber reinforced polymer bars and then uh, 
uh, like textile reinforced bars and also like concretes uh, which can be made without a steel reinforcement uh, by adding non metallic fibers so in these aspects uh, the research from nano c can can give the industry a more feasible combination of binder with alternative cementitious materials like fly ash slag and metacrylene to have a concrete with uh, sufficiently longer service life so nano c can is currently optimizing the blended con uh, concrete system like uh, we are making combinations with slag and metacrylene and fly ash and we are going to propose the concrete uh, at a certain proportion uh, like a binder content uh, and that concrete combinations can be uh, incorporated in the industry for producing uh, the concrete for applications uh, which are niche that uses like alternate reinforcements as well as uh, non metallic fibers here uh, we are uh, collaborating with uh, researchers across the european continent and more particularly uh, along with polish researchers also so uh, using uh, interdisciplinary field of research is necessary here because in nano silicon we are understanding the physical uh, chemical uh, behavior of uh, interaction of these ions from sea water with the cementitious hydrated phases so to have a better understanding we need the cooperation from uh, people working in different uh, fields for example we have a person who works in chemistry in our entity so who can help me in understanding the chemistry of uh, hydration process that help to enhance the behavior of sea water mix concrete against the long term deterioration uh, similarly uh, we have a uh, collaborations uh, with other researchers who can help me understand the thermodynamic behavior of the concrete systems uh, which is necessary to optimize the blend uh, the objective of our project is to optimize the blended cementitious combination to optimize that we are employing the thermodynamic principles and uh, calorimetric principles so in such places i am getting uh, the help from the other polish researchers and make it more interdisciplinary however uh, in india we had a problem of sticking to the specific uh, topic like uh, if i am a civil engineer uh, civil engineer i will be working more with civil engineer so here by through this opportunity i am able to interact with uh, scientists and researchers who work in multiple fields of science like physics chemistry and even mathematics to model also my uh, concrete long term performance definitely the more international collaborations can help us to understand the behavior of the concrete we make at a particular place in different locations so if we uh, want to uh, standardize something like if you want to standardize the mix proportion for the sea water mix concrete it is good to give this concrete uh, and uh, study the performance in different lab environments so in that way the international collaboration can add more value to the project nano sican and we are doing it by collaborating with international researchers uh, in uh, portugal and uh, czech republic for making our project more successful my non scientific interest and hobbies are mostly related to the travel and understanding the history and europe is being a more wide diverse nations uh, and different historical uh, aspects are there so i am more interested in traveling there and then understand how uh, the history had uh, made progress throughout the centuries uh, that is happening so traveling and uh, understanding the history of the place uh, has been my first time activity so far session is close to the river and uh, there are some uh, beaches nearby so which i like to uh, visit frequently and i used to spend time along the river sides and the uh, parks of the session also is like one of the favorite places of mine and session has uh, some historical uh, uh, museums which help me to understand the city's uh, history and also beyond session i was visiting to cities like poznan uh, roxwa and uh, warsa and krakow also like uh, major cities uh, in polish nation and i used to go to these cities and then see how the buildings and uh, other things had been evolved like uh, because for example like in krakow it's like more ancient kind of cities and uh, in warsa uh, like modern buildings are there so that has been my hobby here Polonus BAS is an excellent program for an early career researcher. So, as an early career researcher, if you want to 
work on a particular project, Polonus is giving you an opportunity to uh, realize that dream. In my case, it had helped me to understand concrete sustainability uh, goals, like uh, the contribution towards concrete sustainability I have been making uh, with the help of Polonus BAS. So especially for early career researchers, Polonus BAS is giving a huge opportunity to lead a project as a principal investigator, which is a rare opportunity for uh, anyone. And I would recommend for young researcher and even the experienced researchers to uh, work in this Polonus BAS in future editions. I was impressed with the previous edition. I am participating in the current edition. So I am happy to recommend this for the future researchers in the upcoming editions of the Polonus uh, for helping them to become a leader in their area of research.